Hello HP Touchpad users, great news! A new build of Cyanogen Mod 10.1 with the 3.0 kernel is now available for testing. These fantastic builds are brought to us by the talented James Solens, aka JC Solens in the forum. You can check out the latest information about these builds in my How to Update Android on the HP Touchpad guides, either at XDA Developers Forum or the Roots Wiki Forum. Get all your information on how to update, what ROMs are available, and how to do absolutely anything right here, right now. Now you've probably already heard about Cyanogen Mod 10.1 on the HP Touchpad, but not with the 3.0 kernel. Now the 3.0 kernel is a massive advantage. We stopped getting official updates for the HP Touchpad because our kernel was not getting updated. Now the downside is the developers had to go back in and rework everything to get it working with this new kernel. You will note that the camera is the only non-fully functional feature in this new ROM. The Bluetooth is working quite well. You have all the great low battery drain that we've come to know and love with the HP Touchpad, the handiwork of the talented J. AC Sullens, and this is built on Milac Cyanogen Mod 10.1 ROMs, so it have all the same features as that. For instance, the inverted volume controls, up is down, down is up. This is more useful when you're viewing the tablet in landscape mode and watching a video, for instance, and you want to put the volume up or down. You can check out the full discussion and information about these builds in Big Simon's thread over here at XDA Developers. He's also got links in the OP to the latest builds and the GF's packages. There's a lot of discussion going on about these new builds currently, so come check it out and throw in your two cents. Great stuff here. If you'd like to also test out these fantastic new builds, you can simply download the ROM here and the appropriate GFs package as well. You need to download these directly to the device or download them to your computer and transfer them over to the root directory with your USB cable. Check the link to view JC Sullen's latest testing builds here. Here's the latest 3.0 kernel build to download. If there's a newer one, it'll appear above here. Simply download that and the appropriate GFs package to the device, and I'm going to take you through the install now. Now you can always refer back here to my guide for full information on how to update and install your ROMs. Now I recommend doing a clean install, which is what we're going to do here, but you could also attempt a dirty flash, which is the not recommended method here, if you're using Cyanogen Mod 9 or Cyanogen Mod 10 or Cyanogen Mod 10.1 currently. Again, we're going to do a clean install, and I'm going to take you through that step by step here. First thing you're going to need to do is hold down that power button and reboot your device into recovery. Here we are in Clockwork Mod recovery mode. Now first off, I recommend making a backup. Now we're going to use our volume button to move up and down in the list, and the home button to make our selection. Scroll down to backup and restore and select it. Now the first option will be backup. This will make a complete backup of all our apps and setup on an Android device. I highly recommend doing this before getting started. Simply click backup. Note this will take a little while, at least 10-15 minutes to complete, so make sure you have a good charge before starting this. Once you've got a backup or already have a backup handy, we're ready to start with the installation. Start by going to Wipe Data Factory Reset, select it. Yes, delete all user data. This will delete everything, all your apps, and we'll be ready to start fresh. Once complete, go back and install Zip from SD Card. Choose Zip from SD Card. Now if we downloaded this directly to our device, it'll end up in the download folder. If we transferred it over with the USB cable, it'll be here in the root directory. Simply go down and find our ROM, select it, and go yes install. Now that our ROM is installed, we're going to go back and choose another zip from the SD card. We need to flash the appropriate gapps package for our ROM. Flash the package now, yes flash package. Now that we have both our ROM and our GFs package installed, we're ready to go with Android. But I'd like to show you one more optional step. Now that we already have a previous backup made, we can go to Backup and Restore, Advanced Restore, and here we have in the list all the backups I currently have made. Now what we're going to do is advanced restore of the data partition. This is going to bring all our apps and information back to our current ROM. 
So it's like we just did a clean install, but then we're going to bring all our data back into it. Now this is more clean than say a dirty flash, it's a few more steps, but in general it'll have a better success rate. Now if you have any problems with this procedure, simply redo the first couple steps without this part and start over. This won't work, for instance, if you're using an Evervolve backup and a CyanogenMod ROM, you're going to have problems. So make sure if you're going to install CyanogenMod, you use the CyanogenMod backup. Simply select it here, and we're going to restore just the data partition. Select Restore Data Partition. Again, make sure you have a good charge before this starts. This will take a little while to complete. All right, now our ROM is installed, our GS package, and we've restored our data partition. So we're ready to reboot our device, and it will already have all our apps installed and our previous setup, and should be ready to go. Again, if you have any errors, you can simply redo this procedure. Please subscribe to see the latest updates with the HP Touchpad, and like the video. Thanks for watching, everybody.